Hi and welcome back to Garden Ninja. Now today's video guide is going to show you how to plant tree rings and why if you're planting trees into lawns you should consider using them to make sure that your trees are set for success. So come on let's get cracking. If you've not already subscribed to my YouTube channel hit the red button to subscribe today also click the bell for notifications we will have access to hundreds of garden design hints tips and hacks from me the garden ninja and best of all it's free now if you're considering planting trees in a lawn then a tree ring like this one is a really good idea and the reason for that is if you just dig a hole in the lawn and pop your tree in eventually the grass is going to grow back up against the tree and start competing with it for nutrients and the result of that is that usually the tree is slower to establish it might take longer for it to fruit and start to develop. So by using a tree ring, you're basically creating a safe perimeter around the tree that moisture and nutrients can get to without the grass competing. Now tree rings come in a number of different sizes. The smallest, like this one, is usually around 30 centimetres in diameter. So it's the size of a large dinner plate. They then move up in increments. This one here is 600, so that is twice the diameter of the smaller one. And it really depends on the size of your tree and what's going to be planted around it. If you're planting a big multi-stem tree or something that's going to get big, you're going to need at least a 600, if not a 900 wide tree ring. That is, as it grows, it will easily outgrow this and its roots may start to lift this. If you're dealing with smaller trees, fruit trees on dwarf fruit stocks and the 30 centimetres is adequate and actually sometimes the smaller the tree ring in comparison to the tree the neater it looks if you stuck this on a dwarf cherry tree it might look a bit ridiculous so use your common sense and proportion if the tree is going to get big get a big tree ring if not use a smaller one now i'm going to show you two different ways in which to fit these tree rings the first is if you're planting a tree into a lawn the second, if you're like me, who have planted trees before without tree rings, is going to show you how to retrospectively fit these. And the beauty of fitting a tree ring is that you can also mow straight over it. So rather than having to edge around the tree or get the mower right up there, potentially damaging the tree, these act as a really neat containing circle around the tree that you can mow over and all year round they're going to look super crisp and sharp. So first things first, let me show you how to fit it to a brand new tree in a lawn. So the first guide is about planting a new tree in a lawn that doesn't have a tree ring in. So you've got your tree and your lawn ring separate. So I'm going to put my tree about here. You don't want to place trees too close to hedges and boundaries because ideally you need to be able to get around them. So whenever you're positioning a tree ring in a lawn, make sure that you can get yourself and the mow around. Because I've got a large garden, I've got a ride on mower, so I'm probably going to move in a bit more than I can get all the way around. But I'm going to mark that in there. And then rather than using a trowel, we can use a spade because the tree's not already in, so we're not going to damage anything. And all you need to do is then lift the turf around the tree ring. And when you're going down, maybe an inch and a half with this one, you just slice off that top layer. So a bit of firm action. There we go. Gosh, that is neat, isn't it? And we lift that off. Look at that in one. Pop it upside down. We can recycle that turf. And we just start to dig over this hole ready for the tree. Just so that the soil is nice and loose for the roots of that tree. But again, you don't need to go bonkers. You don't need to double dig or start adding loads of random stuff and feed. Just loosen it enough for the size of the root ball which is really only that much let's get rid of that and then we'll take a scoop out maybe another scoop which we will reuse in a second you might be tempted at this point to pop the tree in first and then the ring secondary just a word of advice I always put this ring in first it just makes it easier if you stick that in and then start to dig around you're going to damage the ring your spade will get stuck you'll start huffing and puffing and wondering why you ever began so we like to take things easy here at Garden Ninja HQ. I'm going to pop that ring in, get my two bolts and washes out. 
and with the bolts and washers the washer always goes on the inside the bolt on the outside so the bolt is the pretty bit and the washer is the bit that's going to stick out so we don't want things sticking out into our path so we put one bolt in there and a washer Right, so that's there. Piece of wood and a soft mallet just to distribute the weight. Pop it down. I want this just proud of the lawn so the mower can pass over it. A bit more there. If you're really pedantic, you can use a spirit level. I'm not really pedantic. And then it's time to pop in your new tree. Now obviously it depends on how big the tree is. This is only maybe a year or two old. If you've got mature trees, you'll need a bigger tree ring. You'll need bigger holes to be dug. It's all about common sense. But for this instance, I've got this tree here. So that's going to fit nicely in there. I always water trees the night before. This has been soaked, thoroughly soaked once you pop this in it's going to start to lose moisture as the rest of the soil wicks it away and until it establishes its roots it's dependent on you so that's looking pretty healthy the roots are just about to expand from the pot that soil you've dug out let's reuse that that makes sense And I'm just going to give this a top dress of some beautiful homemade compost. There we go, which I've pre-soaked as well. So that's a nice wet mulch that will help water that tree for the next week or so. Obviously, depending on the weather conditions, if it's really hot, you might need to water it every couple of days. If it rains a lot, not so much. But if you put your finger in down the sides, it feels dry, it needs a water. But with a new tree, you can't really overwater them. So better to have too much than not enough. So first things first is to get your tree ring and put it around the base of the tree almost like a collar before you do any digging and this is going to help mark out where it's going to go. You want the stem to be in the middle of the tree ring, not the stake because that's going to come out. This in the middle, you can ignore that. You get that dead centre and then get your spade. And using your sharp trowel, like this one here, you just want to peel off that top layer of turf. And it should only really be an inch, inch and a half at max. You can see the roots there. Now you can compost all these grass excavations. Just knock off all that topsoil. We're just being dead gentle. Like I say, you can use a spade, but it might be a bit of overkill. There we go. Once you've done that, it's time to pop the tree ring around right side up and before you spear it into the ground you'll notice that there are two holes and you need to put in a bolt and a nut and I'll show you that up close now and that's to secure the tree ring into a true circle so it's not wonky donkey. So you take the bolt and that always goes on the outside and the reason for that, once you pop that through, is that you don't want this nut and washer sticking out. It'll catch you, it might nip at your strimmer, you might catch your ankles on it. So basically, ugly side inside, bolt, neat flush side on the outside. The final stage is now carefully and gently hammering this into the ground. Now, I always use a rubber mallet because it stops dinting the edges or causing any real damage. If you want to go one step further, in particular on the larger rings, use a piece of wood because it evens out the weight distribution. As you can see, look at that, it fires in. No drama, no damage. There we go. So if I place that on, you'll see it's just above the grass. Perfect.
Have you got gardening questions that you need answers for? Well, why not head over to the Garden Ninja Forum on my blog, where you can ask me anything about gardens, plants, and garden design. There's a whole army of other garden ninjas there that can help provide answers to your questions. It's a really great way to meet the other ninjas. So head over there now. So tree rings like this are a really smart way to maximize the growing space in your garden, because you can then plant trees and shrubs into lawn meaning no matter what size garden you've got you can make the most of that space and help get some height into your back and front gardens if you've liked this video please make sure you subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below and click the bell for notifications you can check out the rest of my channel where there are hundreds of garden design hints tips and hacks to help you make your gardens awesome i've been garden ninja happy gardening